Hello, it's Sonya here with The Pretty Stitch. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. So today is Tuesday, so it's Tunisian Tuesday, and we are going to be doing a Tunisian stitch pattern here. I'm just using my J hook or six millimeter hook. I just have a regular straight crochet hook. And the yarn that I'm using is called Bella Coco. It's a DK weight yarn. But this stitch pattern would work with a variety of yarn types, but I do not suggest fuzzy or furry yarn. As you can see, I've already got my chain going here. So what you want to do for this particular stitch pattern is you want to chain a multiple of two. So I have 20 chains here. And our first row will be our setup row. And so in the second chain from our hook, Working in the back bump, we're going to pull up a loop and we're just going to go across our chain, pulling up loops, working in that back bump. And then I will have 20 loops on my hook. So the amount of loops that you chained is should be the amount on your hook. So I chained 20, so I will have 20 loops on my hook. And if you've never done Tunisian crochet before, I do have a whole playlist that goes over the basics, uh, getting started with crochet or Tunisian crochet. And I'll place that link in the description box if you want to check that out. So I'm going to keep going here, pulling up my loops. So here we go. I have 20 loops on my hook. So as always, Tunisian crochet is worked in two parts. So each row is worked in two parts. So this is our forward pass for row one. Now we need to work these loops off to complete row one. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through one loop, and then yarn over and pull through two for the rest of this row. Okay, so row one is just our setup row, and so rows two and three will be the repeat for this stitch pattern. Okay, so let's begin row two. So we are going to be working a combination of regular Tunisian simple stitch, and we're also going to do a stitch called Tunisian uh, twisted Tunisian simple stitch. So it's not that hard. So to start off with, we're going to work a regular Tunisian simple stitch in this first bar here. And we gotta get all the yarn on there because this is a splitty yarn, but it's pretty. Okay, so we've worked our Tunisian simple stitch. So now we're going to work a Tunisian uh, twisted simple stitch. So what we need to do is normally we put the hook in this way. We actually need to insert it in the opposite direction so it might seem a little challenging it's it's not too bad it's a little fiddly but it really isn't that hard so I'm gonna take my hook below that next bar and then I'm going to insert it and I'm using my finger to kind of push that stitch on there and then just work a regular simple stitch and what it creates is like a little V as you can see down there, and we're going to do that all the way across. So it's regular Tunisian simple, and then the twisted, if I can get that. And I find with this stitch pattern, if you use a larger hook, it's a little bit easier to work. So Tunisian simple, because it makes your bars a little bit bigger. And then twisted Tunisian simple. Make sure I got all the yarn on there. And we just do that all the way across. Thank you. 
So I'm almost at the end of my row. I've got one more stitch to go. So we are going to work in this last stitch. It kind of looks like a chain. And we're working Tunisia knit stitch in there. Just gives a nice cleaner, a, a clean edge there. So there we go. Again, we have 20 loops on our hook. So we're just gonna work these guys off for row two to finish up the same way as row one. Yarn over, pull through one yarn over pull through two for the rest of the row and when I'm doing this I'm trying to be a little bit more relaxed and not having my stitches as tight so it just makes it a little bit easier to work with this particular stitch pattern Okay, and there we go. We have row two complete. So you can kind of see the little V's. Now this stitch pattern is just going to be a, a subtle stitch pattern. It's not going to be like a super in your face one, but I think it's still really nice. Okay, so let's begin row three. So row three, our first two stitches are going to be Tunisian simple. And now we are going to work the Tunisian a twisted simple stitch so just going under that bar and just inserting it I find if I have it kind of pointing down like that it makes it a little bit easier and this yarn is probably not the best choice because it's a splitty yarn and if you're not sure what that means it just means that this the twist of this yarn is kind of on the looser side so when you're picking up the loop you're sometimes not getting all of the twists on your hook <laughs> all right we did it and so we're going to repeat that across so tunisian simple and the twisted tunisian simple so tunisian simple twisted tunisian simple and we're going to do this all the way across until we have two loops, two stitches left to work. So I'm gonna go do that and I will meet you back. Okay, and as you can see, I have a different background. I just felt like the light yarn was kind of making it a little more difficult to see. So now we have two stitches left to work here. So for our last two stitches, our next one, we're working Tunisian, just Tunisian simple. And then we're again working that Tunisian knit stitch at the end. And now we just work off these loops for row three like we normally do. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two for the rest of the row. And then what you wanna do for this stitch pattern is you're just repeating rows two and three for however long you want your swatch. And then you will need to work your stitches off. And then I will show you how I like to work them off. Okay, so here we go. I ended up working 11 rows and you can see the stitch pattern here. It's just a really nice, pretty subtle stitch pattern. And it doesn't lay completely flat, but it's definitely a little bit of a flatter stitch because Tunisian often is a curling stitch. It tends to roll, uh, but this one is a little bit flatter. So let's work these guys off. So we're going to work off in pattern. So I ended row 11 on a row three. So now I need to work a row two. So to begin to bind off these stitches, I'm going to insert my hook in that first bar and just work that slip stitch to work them off. 
So now I'm going to do the same thing in the next, next one, but we actually need to do that working the Tunisian twisted simple stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook in the twisted simple stitch and just work them off. And then I'll do the same thing, just a regular Tunisian simple and then a twisted Tunisian simple stitch all the way across. So you can end, you don't have to end on a row three if you don't want to. I mean, you can certainly end on a row two. So if you ended on a row two, you're, if you wanted to bind off, then your next uh, row would be a row three. So you would bind off in uh, a row three stitch pattern. Okay, so now I'm at the end of my row here. So my last stitch, we're just gonna be working in the Tunisian knit to bind off. Just like that. Sorry, I bumped the camera and now we are all set. So I think this is a really fun, easy stitch pattern. Um, just gives a little bit of impact there, which sometimes, you know, those are really nice. You don't want a project that's, you know, crazy with all different types of stitches. You just want something kind of a little bit more subtle, which this one is. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.